Hi, I'm Dr. Janet Pope. I'm here at Room Now at ACR 22 Convergence here in Philadelphia. I wanted to talk about the response of women versus men to treatment in seronegative arthritis looking at both psoriatic arthritis and axial spondylitis. So the first one is abstract number 1614. And with that, they looked at women with radiographic or non-radiographic axial spa and compared it to men. And they found something that to me is a bit confusing. They found that the response to any treatment in women was less only if they were non-radiographic, but it was equal if they were radiographic compared to men. And I don't think it's misclassification. These were large centers that know how to diagnose um, ankylosing spondylitis. It didn't look like there were treatment differences, so I think more will come. And a lot of the treatment was with a TNF inhibitor, and maybe there's something about radiographic versus non-radiographic and TNF, but I don't really know. So the other one is looking, moving, and shifting gears to psoriatic arthritis. So it was um, abstract number 1601. And in this one, they actually were looking at a response to treatment with ustekinumab. So to remind everyone, it's an IL-1223 inhibitor. And it was looking as a sub-analysis of the randomized control trials in psoriatic arthritis. So the question was, if a man versus a woman is on methotrexate with ustekinumab, does it make a difference? And the weird thing is that if it was a man and he was on methotrexate and had ustekinumab, he actually had a better response than ustekinumab alone. Whereas in the women of the study, it made no difference. And they looked at all sorts of things, dactylitis, enthesitis, and other things. So again, is it a treatment response that's something to do with other cytokines, IL-1223, is it just a fluke because it's a subset analysis? I don't know, but I think, again, the take home for me as I go to clinic next week is I should be cognizant that there might be a difference in effect for women with seronegative types of arthritis on certain treatments compared to others. Otherwise, I don't really know what to make of it, and I think more will come on gender discrepancies. So thank you and enjoy the meeting.